we're being plunged into very strange times and very strange circumstances. And I saw something in prayer today. I saw something with a prophetic flow that surprised me. It surprised me. It was filled with hope and it was filled with life. It was filled with what I believe the Lord is saying. And as we cross over into this unique circumstance that we're all looking at here in the next day, I saw, much like that time I was in a Mario Murillo crusade and everybody began to shout and call out to the Lord and there was a roar in the house and then the Lord pulled me back and whispered to me and said, this is not the end. I saw something today. I saw something and I'm gonna, I'm gonna share it. I saw seven years, seven years. Now I don't say this stuff unless I see it. And I began to see this and so I'm still praying about it. So pray for me because I'm trying to understand the full interpretation of why I saw seven years out down the road, seven years. You know, we're looking at this event that's coming up and I believe it's gonna come and go and, <clears throat> and then we're gonna be in a whole different category of navigation. As I believe earthquakes are gonna rise. I have to tell you, I think there's coming a massive earthquake at some point and we've got to really stand up and begin to believe that there will be victory and there will not be any any terrible things happening to people in some of these events. So we're praying about it. But I believe that in the 40-day window we're about to go through after this eclipse narrative and how we're all on the other side of it and, and all of it, I believe there's going to be this 40-day type of word. And then this word about the seven Ninevehs that's already come and gone and all of it. But this this thing happened. I was listening to, of all people, uh, my dear friend, Troy Brewer, I'm watching him on Michael Knowles' broadcast, and they're having a conversation <clears throat> about the signs of the times and what's happening. And as I'm listening, and I'm, I'm really taking it in, suddenly I got caught up into a, a, a vision, just a very quick one. I saw seven years out. Seven years down the road. And it came over me, and then it left. I said, Lord, what was that? What was that? And the Spirit of the Lord wanted me to begin to pray into it. So I've been doing that. And then I started to see something else about lights. I started to see as if it were flashlights or lights, lights shining into dark archives by people that the wicked side of things would not consider qualified to see certain issues and hidden things in the darkness. And they began to shine light into it and it began to induce panic, the panic of evil. So I've been praying into this. I've been praying into this seven years down the road and I began to realize the Lord is extending mercy. He's extending a time of mercy. And I believe that after this solar narrative and we get on the other side of it, we're, we're in spring, we're in summer. I believe that we're headed for massive earthquake narratives. We've already seen some. I believe we're going to begin to see this. Now listen, the Lord is going to make a way for you. And here's the part that I see. The heavens are charged. There's a strange feeling in the air right now because of people that are talking and making stupid stuff up about what's going to happen and what's not going to happen. There is events that are going to happen around, around it all. Even over this solar eclipse narrative, uh, well beyond it. There's a, there is things going to happen. Strange things will happen. But listen to me. The Lord is long-suffering, and he's not willing that any should perish. We are cascading into the last of the last times. But I got to tell you, there is great strength in this, and there is the spirit of might, wisdom, revelation, the fear of the Lord. And I want to say to you, Shrink away from all the wild, crazy, cyclic, figure eight, endless loop discussions that are not bringing you back to the word of God, getting closer to the Lord Jesus Christ, because any prophecy 
or any prophetic word you hear, even what I'm saying to you right now, if it doesn't bear testimony to Jesus, you ought not to receive it. The spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. Revelation 19.10. Now, <clears throat> I see seven years, and what does this mean? Well, Joseph had seven years of preparation, and then it flipped over into a time of famine, and there was seven years of leanness, difficulty. I believe there's coming a seven-year opportunity to begin to see an awakening, to begin to see light and darkness, to begin to see the Spirit of the Lord, to begin to see the goodness of God in the land of the living, and I believe we're going to see it. I don't believe it's going to be the gloomiest, doomiest end of the world, but we're going to see a lot of stuff now. I hope you repost this. I hope you share this with somebody. It's going to help them. So I see light shining into dark places, and it catches them off guard. And then I see panic, like a panic coming on these, these wicked players in the depths, in the darkness, like their archives are going to get laid out a little bit more. People are saying, going red. Well, yeah, amen, we're going red. The blood of the lamb, Revelation 12, 11. So I'm here, I'm praying, you know, I'm about to go to the seven churches <laughs> and with a number of awesome people. But then I have a very specific assignment that I have to do after that. And then on the heels of that, I'm going to be at Noah's Ark. That's a few weeks out yet, Noah's Ark. But during this 40 days between the eclipse, the day of Pentecost, I'm going to be traveling and doing a lot. I'll be at Noah's Ark. My team is really, really working diligently. They're going to be here the whole time, sending me out. Thank you, Jesus. I have hope. Do you know that in the beginning, all the way back to 2020, listen to me. Let me go here. All the way back to 2020, I saw this word. I saw this word and I started preaching it four years ago. The beginning of 2020. And it was this. Psalm 126. Psalm 126. When the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are glad. Bring back our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Here's the word of the Lord. Those who sow in tears will reap in joy. Will reap in joy. And it goes on further. And it begins to go into this part of the scripture. He who continually goes forth weeping, bearing his seed for sowing, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. The Lord, the Lord is stepping into this whole narrative. There's a narrative where you're going to win more than you've ever won as you see things burn, as there's earthquakes, as there's perilous pestilences, as there's famine, as there's all these things. The Spirit of the Lord is going to begin to make such a way for you that there's going to be might coming through this. Now, do not let the fear that people are propagating and throwing out about what's happening with this solar narrative get in your heart. It is not of God. The signs are of God. The heavens are declaring the glory of the Lord. But I'm telling you, I saw seven years. And I see an unfettering and an unshackling from things that have kept people bound like, an, like we've never experienced before. An unprecedented unfettering. 
You know what seven more years brings us to? Do you know what it brings us to? It brings us up to 2031. Now, I know that we got all these wicked, scummy, lizard, pervert overlords that are trying to say they're going to have a great reset. They're going to have all their stupid agenda and they're going to marshal it forward. But even as things happen, I began to see this narrative. I'm going to write some of this out. Remember this spring here in May, you see... You see this, the health organization saying they're going to have all their sovereignties and liberties that we possess go into their hands. But I believe that in this year and in this year, we begin to see some changes even going back to that, going back to the original plan. And I'm telling you, this isn't set, but boy, we got to pray. We got to pray. We got to, we got to speak to this, increase to it. We need to shout grace, grace to the mountain. Because I see the word is turnovers. You know how scripture says in, in Romans that he takes, he causes all things to work for the good of them that love him, to, for the good of the righteous. I see turnovers that will start out They'll start out bad, but then turn into turnovers that create life. That create life. I've seen pickup sticks in 26, 27. Is an exposing of leaven. But I know the Spirit of the Lord is making a great way for this. And I'm just telling you, there's another round coming. I believe we're about to step into it. You've seen me draw this a number of times. Okay? You've seen me draw this. You've seen me draw that we would begin to go down at 30, 60, 100. And then the storm. I believe we are just now beginning to see the storm. Okay? We're just now beginning to see the storm. We're beginning to witness it. We, we're, we're seeing it. Going into this level of captivity and challenges. And wave after wave. Wave after wave of difficulty. But I know that coming through this storm... I believe it's going to look a lot like even this timeline that the storm will begin to increase here. I believe it's going to really come to the side of the storm here. I believe we'll start to see um, this going back up again from 30 to 60 to 100. And this, of course, is talking about the U.S., now, I'm not just all about this nation. I believe in all the nations God has in store for us, but I believe that we're going to begin to see a turnover. Let me give you an example of turnovers. Land that has been purchased for nefarious activities that are not a part of our own nation, I believe could become forfeit and they just kick them out. There could be a kicking out of sorts. Imminent domain from, from the good side of things saying, get out. You're not welcome. I believe it'll be land. Deporting. I believe there's going to be economic. I have a word back in the day about economic revival. How will there be an economic revival? What are you talking about, Joseph? I, I'm going to tell you, I believe the word is oil. It's 
So let me just say this to us. Is there going to be some wild stuff right around the corner? Yes. Will we see unprecedented events and crazy shaking, even with this eclipse narrative and all the stuff that everybody's been talking about now that we're on the other side of everything? And Yes. Is Jesus coming back right now? Well, Jesus can come back whenever he wants to. But I believe that we have one more round. I believe we have things to do. But I believe mercy is being extended. I believe the signs are here. I believe that America is being given seven years. Seven years. And there's going to be hardship in these seven years. But seven years of mercy. And there's going to be light shining into archives that darkness does not want revealed. And yet it will be. And a panic will come on these people. A panic. And I'm telling you that God is breaking you out of your captivity. He's breaking you out, and there's a seven-year time frame of mercy. Can a nation change in a day? Yes. Can it be birthed in a day? Well, by God's grace, anything can happen. But listen, don't let the fight on the outside get on the inside. Let the Spirit of the Lord begin to rise up and push back against all this nefarious activity and dealings and crisis fatigue and the things that are trying to happen. I personally am going on an assignment right now. I'm going on this assignment and we're going to, to go see Noah's Ark. Truly, it'll be several weeks out yet, but I'm going. And I have this word about it. And like this seven-year mercy thing and what's going on. Man, yeah, that's right. If you're just getting this text, by the way, you can share the text to join. If you're getting it right now, share it with other people and they can jump on. You can share the link that way. 719-719-3637. Text the keyword join and you can be a part of that, the text to join. People are asking about Alaska and this earthquake. I have seen Alaska shaking. I really have. I'm praying against it. I pray we never see it. I believe that after this whole mania around the, um, the solar eclipse, I believe there's going to be earthquakes that begin to hit. I'm praying against one hitting the New Madrid fault line. And I'm praying against Alaska. Now, there's a lot of other places too. But the word I'm carrying in my heart right now, and even the, the earthquake that hit New York, and there's other places it hit, I believe has to do with a shaking word about the stock exchange as well, and our liberty. Now, let me just say, Jesus is making a way for there to be light in darkness. California too. I just put out a word about California this morning with quaking, shaking, all that. But listen, I know this is going to increase, but this should not deter anybody's faith. Not at all. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to shrink back. You can lean into the storm because the Lord is making a way. There's going to be very disheartening things. I keep seeing pillars of smoke. You know, that's why I draw this thing. You know, the storm, but I see pillars of smoke in different places. But listen. <laughs> At a time when the world is really getting wild, here's God sending me with a number of people and then, then honestly just a few of us, Rick and I, to Noah's Ark. We're going to the seven churches. I'm going to be on every one of the seven churches spoken of in the book of Revelation, chapter 1, 2, and 3. And ultimately, we're going to end up at Noah's Ark. 
And the Lord is speaking to me. And I, I just want to say to you, I need your prayer. I really do. Because I believe there's an international prophetic word God is speaking to me about what is happening in the nations and what the Lord is saying with this, as the days of Noah were, word. As the days of Noah were, so shall it be with the coming of the Son of Man. As the days of Noah. But I began to see these, this word seven years Seven years. Seven years. Seven churches. Revelation chapter 2. The church of Ephesus. What was Ephesus known for? Lots of things had up to 100,000 members in that church. Thank you. People, Linda's saying, she's always making mention of us. Well, we love you, Linda, and everybody who prays for us. Thank you. Ephesus, known as the Loveless Church. The second church, Smyrna. Smyrna, or the Persecuted Church. The compromising church, Pergamos. We're going to go to Pergamum. For the corrupt church, Thyatira. It was the church, by the way, Thyatira, when people say, oh, there's no Jezebel in the New Testament. Well, it says here in Thyatira, in the New Testament, in verse 20, um, you allow that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophetess to teach all kinds of immoral things. What it's talking about is the pastor's wife of that church. That's in context what it was talking about. I learned that from Rick. No, the fifth church, Sardis. Sardis. Also known as the dead church, had a reputation of being alive. Number six, Philadelphia. The Philadelphia Church. And number seven, the Laodicean Church, the lukewarm church. Philadelphia was the faithful church. But God, listen to me, is doing something with us. And I'm just trying to obey him in this journey. And sometimes, prophetically, you just go do acts that he calls you to do. And you don't really know why you're doing it. You just know you're supposed to do it. So you do it. And that's something that I believe is happening right now in our life and in our ministry. That the Spirit of the Lord is just saying, I'm taking you on this journey. I'm taking you down this avenue. I'm taking you to a place of obedience because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is righteousness, peace, and joy. And I believe the Lord is making a way for many of you right now. So what do I think is going to happen? People have been asking me, have you seen anything coming? And the answer is, yeah. I've seen the storm. I've seen difficulty I've seen all of it, but I see, added to this, I see this seven-year picture. Now, technology and artificial intelligence is going to explode. But much of what's coming, even if they legislate certain things or if they make agreements with other uh, narratives, I have to tell you, it can be undone over the next two years. So we've got to pray. We've got to pray. So right now I come against the fear and anxiety that's in the air in this nation and over the people of God. The confusion, the crisis fatigue, I resist it right now in the name of Jesus. 
I resist it right now. I just stand against it in Jesus' name. The devil is a liar. And here's the big thing I've been so concerned about is this, this haze that's coming over people, this, this uh, dullness of seeing and hearing. It's almost blurry or they're tired and don't know how to continue contending. And the Lord is saying to you, stand up, rise up in faith. Know the hour of your visitation. But I see seven years. There's strength rising. I see so many of these things that God is doing and people are talking about my book, Servants of Fire. Thank you. We got Breaking Hills Economy here, all these different books we have around. If you had this one, you should get this one. This is where we are right now. We're going into this time. I wrote this book for where we're going right now. You can get this at josephz.com. I really, I mean, this is a prophetic book. Wrote it because of what's going on. Breaking Hills Economy. Boy, do I encourage you to get that one. You can get it on audio. You can get it on digital. You can get it any way, but I encourage you to go to josephz.com. Now listen or we have Servants of Fire, or you can go to josephz.com and pre-order Demystifying the Prophetic, which will teach you how to navigate the signs of the times, prophetically, deal with stuff. Now, I'm telling you right now, thank you for sharing this. Thank you guys for sharing this. It's going to help somebody. There is coming a confrontation of light and darkness. This collision is going to continue to rise and rise and rise. But this is not the end. It's not the end. You guys pre-ordered Demystifying the Prophetic? Thank you. You know, you can get a, 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 a manual with it too. A study manual that goes with it. There's the book and a study manual, and you can get them all reduced right now at josephz.com for pre-order. You can get both. I encourage you to. Thank you, Jesus. There's seven years of mercy, even in the middle of this collision and all this difficult and the things that are happening. But seven years. Seven years. Justice is coming, and it's going to impact everybody. But you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. It's the Joseph word. Provision in a time of great difficulty. That's what's happening. Provision in a time of great difficulty. Somebody just asked if I'm live. I am live. I am live. I'm in real time. Hopefully you got that text to join number. When I start to see things out, because there's a couple things the Lord showed me about, like involving land and property. Many of you are going to start to see lands and properties come back to you. Here, one of the things I saw, um, I've, I've said this and I need to really tell you this again, is I saw with my grandmother at her funeral, I, uh, the Lord pulled me aside and he began to speak to me. And say, there's going to be, there's going to be a downturn and difficulty. And we're seeing that right now. But the Lord said, I'm going to provide. I'm going to provide for you, Joseph. I'm going to provide for people just like you. Those that stand up. And I, I thought, wow, that's amazing. And then I began to see wealth and land transfers. And when people talk about, um, people are talking about demystifying the prophetic. You, you can get that book uh, for pre-order and as soon as the shipment comes in, we'll send it to you. The main release of the book for everybody will be in June. But right now we're doing pre-orders because you get it at a reduced rate and it helps uh, us get the books out and all that. But you can go to josephz.com and pre-order it right now. And as soon as we get the books, you'll get them. 
Now listen. There is going, you're going to see um, wild changes in um, the real estate market coming into spring here. Wild changes. The people are going to be able to get things they once couldn't get. You're going to begin to see land come into hands. I'm believing God for epic amounts of land. It's it's part of like, should Jesus tarry? I know that I'm supposed to set up, set up land all over the place for the gospel, for leaders, for the glory of the Lord, and get people trained and get them full of faith and get them learning the voice of God and learning how to really rise up in this generation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, right now. By the Spirit of the Lord. Wealth transfer, I mean, you're going to get what you need to do your assignment. I go into, I go into that topic in this book heavily. Wealth transfer. A lot of people use that as a watchword, wealth transfer, and they don't really know what we're talking about. But part of it has to do with, like this chapter says, the persecution of increase. That's a big deal. Um, being delivered of hell's economics. That's a big deal. Meaning you're delivered of the love of money. Delivered of being stuck at every turn. And then I go into uh, part of the wealth transfer is to break out of Babylon. To get rid of that Babylonian captivity with, with what you've had to struggle through. Strong. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord's making way for so many of you right now. And then here's where I really get into that topic. Last day's wealth transfer, Isaiah 60. Times of crisis create opportunity. I believe that's the now word. Times of crisis create opportunity. I think we're going to see a lot of that. This book here really walks through a lot of stuff uh, that will help you with this. Um, it's important. Breaking off the global darkness. If <laughs> We even end with our saying, on a bad day, you're the best there is. You're anointed to be the best there is. Thank you, Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. The Spirit of Almighty God. God is breaking many of you out right now. Listen to me. He's breaking many of you out right now. If, you're, if you've been a partner in this ministry, I just declare breakthrough for you right now. By the way, I've been instructed by my team to say something to you. This is really important. Really important. If you choose to become a partner here, and I hope you do, you only go to josephz.com because there's people pretending to be me. There's people pretending to be us out there. And our partners have been so smart. You guys have been so smart contacting us and you're able to <clears throat> read through that pretty quickly. But it's because we bring it up every time. You really want to only go to josephz.com. If you've been a partner with us from the beginning or if you recently become one, thank you. But listen to me. If you want a partner today or you want to be a part of this partner family, please only go to josephz.com or you can text the keyword give. It's right down here uh, on Facebook here. It's 719-719-25, uh, 719-25, uh, excuse me, 719-259-0029. You text the keyword give. That's how you avoid this stuff. That's why I'm saying it to you. Please don't fall for the scams. They're really slick. They look just like us, but we only do it a couple ways. But if you're not sure, go to josephz.com. It's all there. I got to tell you, thank you. Thank you. People are saying, my goodness. But partnering here, they're saying all the breakthroughs people are getting by partner. Thank you, guys. Look, if you can't partner, we love you. That's why we're here. It's not about that, but I always bring this stuff out because it's... um. It's really vital. It's vital. I don't want people getting scammed. Lord, I begin to release. I begin to release strength to your people right now. Strength. 
strength over the next two days. Over the next two days and three days, no fear of the storm, no fear of the shaking, no fear of anything. God is with you and you will not be defeated by any means. You will not be pushed away. You will not be turned away. You will not lose your footing. Instead, this is an opportunity to take ground. That's what God's calling you to do. Thank you, Lord. So be praying for us. We've got a 40-day window of prophetic assignment. I'll be live as much as I can. Thank you, Jesus. Well, people are saying, I'd love to partner with you. If you want to partner here, please comment, partnering, so we can celebrate you. Do you know what happens when you partner? We call you. We call you. And I don't hire some call service to do it. We don't have a bunch of hirelings do it. Our team does it. And they love you. And we want to call you. I hear testimonies all the time. Some team members come and they're crying. I get uh feedback where people say, I was talking to our partners and they just were praying with each other. I'm praying for them. They're praying for me. And they said, we just love the partners and they're crying. And so we call you regularly. So if you partner here, we call you regularly. If you're a prayer partner with us and, and your part is to pray, thank you. We love you. Thank you. If you're a viewer, thank you. We love you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I speak boldness boldness, boldness to stand, boldness to rise, boldness to overcome. You know, you guys are sending, people are commenting on my sword back there. Yeah. Thank you. You are sending us to the seven churches we're going to be walking so much. Rick's like, oh yeah, you're going to walk. <laughs> it's going to be a, a very fast paced and uh, no type, no rest type of trip. And then we're going to be um, going to Noah's Ark. And Noah's Ark, where it is, by the way, is the middle of nowhere. Okay. Uh, you got to wear shoes that you can destroy. Uh, it's, it's an old mudslide. And it's right on the Iran border. Turkey and Iran, that's where we're going. So it's a long, long journey, and it'll be a few weeks out until we do that. But I really do appreciate your prayers and your support and anything you can do to stand with us, anything you can do to help us with the building. We're so grateful. We're knocking that down. And I'm just grateful to you. Thank you so much. People telling us they love us. Well, we love you. We're grateful to you. But let me, let me recap what I said from the beginning. This is important. This is important. I saw seven years. I saw seven years. And I don't have the full revelation of this yet. I just saw it. And I believe it means we're going to keep going. I, I see something happening. People are asking these questions. So I'm going to, I'll write the number down so you can screenshot it. Is that okay, everybody? I'm going to write this number down for you. Then you can screenshot it. Okay, I'm going to write two numbers down. Okay, so the first one is 719-719-3637. Okay, this is important. And this is where you text... join. Then 719. I'm going to get it all for you here. This is to avoid all the scammers. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to hold this up, then you can screenshot it, okay? This will help you. You see that? I'm a low-tech redneck tonight. Look at this. Screenshot this. 719-719-3637. Text the keyword JOIN. This is how you get text messages to your phone. 
And um, when we go live, then you can be with us and you click the link and you're there. I encourage you to do that. That's a text. You text that number from your text messages in your phone. If you want to give or stand with us, you do it two ways, 719-259-0029. Give, that's how you become a partner. Or just simply go to josephz.com. Or you go to the Joseph Z app. Download this from your favorite app store. So here's how you join, get notifications from us. Here's the number you text to give. Or you can just go to josephz.com to partner, be a part of that. Or to be a part of um, our newsletter, which I read to you and do video to you. Or you go to the Joseph Z app, which we're doing major updates on. This service here is a very costly service to us. But because of partnership, we make it available. So it will cost you nothing. Nothing. I hope you join, become part of this. There's like 35,000 people on this, this this text to join. And then giving, I hope you do that. And josephz.com, this is how you partner or sow and help us move forward. And then there's this. Okay, so screenshot that, then you'll have it. And that's important. One more time, you can screenshot it if you like. That'll help you avoid the scams. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. The red heifer word is, is wild. Yeah, I know people are talking about that. It's wild. I mean, it's obvious we're headed towards a lot. But I'm here to tell you, God is giving us grace. He's giving us mercy. So we got to keep standing. Now, I have an assignment I'm on the next few days already. I'm launching out. And we so appreciate you and your help. Thank you for sending us. Listen to me. I want to say this to everybody. Thank you for your prayers and thank you for sending us. I have a prophetic assignment and I'm going to do it. But you're going with us because you're sending us. Thank you. Uh, you may be seeing me live in the nation of Turkey quite a bit over the next few weeks. <laughs> so I'll be praying. And my team is here running things, protecting everything. We're good to go. We got so much uh, support on the home front. It's awesome. I'm not worried about a thing back here. But um, hey, thank you, Kay, for saying you just joined and about to partner. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, Kim also said, blessed by the low-tech redneck every day. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, Michelle, for praying about partnering you and your husband. Thank you for that. What a blessing you are. I bless you. Thank you, Blanche. I bless you guys. I speak life over everybody that's partnering, standing, just praying for us. Thank you for holding us up before the Lord. We got a lot to do. Got a lot to do. For church tomorrow, um, I might be airing one of my recent teachings for you. So sometimes um, when I'm traveling, I try to be live as much as I can, and I will be. So thank you for grace for me, and thank you for tuning in. Um, but uh, sometimes we air things when I'm traveling. Uh, or one thing I have coming up is I have a week of interviews. I have two special guests coming up. Uh, one of them is Bob Yandian. Bob and I are going to get into some stuff for this. Another one that I have coming up while I'm gone, and it'll be over the next few weeks, is Jeremy Pearson's. That's going to be a fun one. Uh, we got that going on. I've got other people. Pastor Mark Cowart may step in for me a little bit. Uh, my buddy Todd Coconado, uh, Alan DiDio, Troy Brewer, uh, Ryan Edberg. I got a lot of people that may step in and help me. Who knows? Maybe I can get Uncle Lance in there and some of them to do things. Maybe Che On will do it. But we got a lot of things happening. But I just bless you. Listen to me. Here's the word of the Lord for you. Don't be afraid. Not even a little bit. No fear. No fear. No fear. No fear. God wants you to live, move, and have your being. No fear. So when this broadcast comes to a close and you're looking at all the, the crazy stuff people are saying and all of that, Somebody asked me, we'll all be during the eclipse. Very close to it. Very, very close. Actually in it. Thank you, Jesus. But we're praying. And uh, we've got a lot more to do. 
I'll be live again soon. Thank you for reposting this. Thank you for, I hope you subscribe to YouTube, you guys. Listen, there's stuff that's going to break loose like popcorn. It's going to be wild the next 40 days. I, I think shaking, I'm just praying against earthquakes. That's something that is like, man. It's going to get people's attention, though. I'll be back with you soon. Let me pray for you. Father, I bless every person watching right now. You're going to be okay. You're okay. Whether you are older and alone, whether you're younger, married, children out of the home, whatever station in life you're in right now, I declare over you, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Absolutely. When people say, thank you for loving us that cannot give or do something financially but pray, oh, we love you. It's never about that for us. It's not. I clarify these things every single time I broadcast because of the scams that are out there. And I so get concerned that people will get played. And you guys have been so smart about it. You haven't. But there's a lot of them. They look just like us. They act like us. But if you can't give, listen to me. We love you. Ministry is not about that. We love you. But for those who can, thank you. Thank you. That you give what you can and what means something. Thank you. But we love all of you. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Have no fear. God's got you. Remember on a bad day, you really are anointed to be the best there is. And a man or woman with a revelation is not at the mercy of a culture gone mad, gone crazy. Thank you. I like that, Pamela. You're going to stay in my prayers on your trip, but it will be quite prosperous. I believe that. I believe by me letting go of some of the things and, you know, I have no business doing this trip. We have so many things right in front of us. And uh, I just need your grace and you to be praying with me and agreeing um, that that we see more momentum while I go be obedient. So thank you for agreeing with me. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I bless all of our partners. I bless all of our viewers. I bless every person who prays and I speak life over you. I hope you repost this. I hope you share this everywhere. It'll help somebody. It really will. And I'm going to be back on again live very soon. But listen to me. This, uh, this seven-year word and shining light in dark places. Oh, it's coming. Let's keep seeking. Let's keep discerning. Keep listening. Jesus loves you. There's nothing you can do about it. I'll see you very soon. Love you guys.